Welcome back to the 10 Show. We've got a serious subject to talk about right now. A local mother who lost her son to drug addiction is now on a mission to keep other families from suffering the same devastating loss. Patricia Day is the founder of Hope for Addiction, an organization that offers support and, to addicted teens and their families. And she's here to tell us about a fundraising event designed to raise awareness on the dangers of teen addiction. Please welcome Pat Day. Pat, great to have you here. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. Now, Thank you. you. You formed Hope for Addiction, and what you wanted to accomplish might surprise a lot of people. Yeah, what we're looking to do is really raise awareness of addiction affecting our youth. You know, one of the things Bill and I just chatted a little bit about was that, that addiction um, is, is, is one of the uh, large causes of death within youth between 20, 15 and 24 years old. So if we look at that population, uh, we know that 5% uh, of that population will have significant diseases, one being cancer. 5% of them will suffer from so cancer. So many more children are likely to die as a result of drug addiction. 31% of that group will die of addiction. And, and you want to actually help to fund scientific research to break that addiction. Yeah, we've partnered with uh, NIDA, which is the National Institute on Drug Abuse, um, and Nora Vokal is the director over there. We've actually met with Nora Vokal. We've got her information on our site and many NIDA programs that are available to schools. Uh, we also do, do uh, an event called a house party. So we will go out and we will be involved with the community uh, talking with parents, educating them on addiction and how it can happen to their children. Uh, and, and we talk about ways to prevent that. How frustrating was it as a mother to try to deal with this on your own without having that kind of support out there? The problem we see in the community, there is no support. And as a parent, your, your family's in a crisis state and there is nowhere to go. The Karen Foundation is wonderful. They helped us with education. But until we found Karen, it, it was a devastating event. And, and I know there are a lot of parents out there today and you're seeing that happen within your families, God help you. You know, even today, if you look at cancer, you can go to Sloan Kettering. You can get the best treatment. There's protocols to follow. You're struck with drug addiction within your children. And, you know, it's, I'm sorry to say, there really is not any one protocol you can pick up and follow and cure that child. Well, and this is one of the reasons you're having the event this coming we weekend. Are. And I'd love to see, you know, those of you that may be affected with addiction in your families, uh, you're just looking to raise awareness. We'll have the D.A.R.E. officer there. We're, we're partnered with D.A.R.E. We've been out to some schools with the D.A.R.E. officer in Bucks County. Um, and we are looking to continue to promote um, th this event. It's going to be at St. Joseph the Worker in Fallsington. Uh, we, we brought some athletic uh, events into it. With, and it's uh, going to be a fun event, too, as heavy as oh, a yeah. subject this is. You are going to have fun, a two-man competition and family fun day. Well, we've got to bring in the kids, and the way to get them there is to make it fun. And so that, that's what we're looking to accomplish Very on good. You brought something along here? I, I do. For, for you and for Laurie, we have T-shirts well, for you. both of you. Thank you very much, Pat. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for coming by and telling us about this Great, event. Great, thanks. Thanks we'll for having us. We'll be right back with more of the channel. You're welcome.